helping them too. But mm -hmm. yeah, so I, I did those to get people's faith uh, a go again and, and stop, you know. A bit of a faith tune-up is what you're saying. Exactly, and have fun with it. And, and now then the third book I, I put out, which is uh, kind of a re-release, but it's really an expanded upon. I had just put out this little brief ebook uh, a few months ago, and I had it by a different name, and uh, it was just to show people how to bless their home and how to keep mm -hmm. these negative things out, because people weren't understanding always what I was telling them how to get rid of shadow people and the Hat Man. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. So this is book two, The Hat Man, a guide and comic on how to get rid of dark beings for all ages. So, again, it's comical. It's in color. It's in print in color and also as an e-book. Um, and I, I, people were like, oh, I really like this little book. I wish it was longer. I wish it showed more. So I doubled the size of it. And, uh, you know, I listened to the people that let me know about the books and how they're taking it. So sure. Do you think, do you think the crisis, I mean, cause it kind of sounds like that in faith and a man, I I'm seeing it in my own kids, you know, it seems to be kind of a rite of passage for, for teenagers who think they're smart. <laughs> they, they're afraid of being duped. You know, their intellectual side says, why would you believe in something like that? You know, wh where's the proof? H how can I believe in something like that? And yet both of them I know desperately want to believe, but they're, they become afraid to believe because they don't want to be fooled. And it's, mm. it's coming from the intellectual side. Oh. And, and I'm just wondering how often you see that. That to me seems fairly common. When, when we talked to our minister about it, he said, oh, man, I mean, I see it all the time. See, more teenagers go through that than don't. Yeah. I, I don't know why they think there's harm in having this inner feeling. And, and I think I, I even mentioned this in the other F word book. It's like, how cool is it that in inside you, you can have a full like about faith in your faith and be so devoted and people would not be able to tell by looking at you from a distance. Like it's something you could totally change in an instant and be whatever you want to be. And it, it's, it's like, there's no, uh, there's no losing faith. <laughs> there's, yeah. There isn't. I mean, you can have this, this in you and have it about you. And I mean, where, who are you going to be embarrassed by? Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, well, it's like, I don't get it. It's like illogical. Well, that's the thing with faith, though, is, I mean, that's that's a lot of people have brought this up that, you know, it's hard to have faith in evils everywhere. Well, wait a minute. You know, that's that is true. It doesn't take much faith to find evil, but it sure takes a lot of faith to find good. And, and why is that? Why has, in your opinion, has God not shown up like he has an Old Testament going, I am here. You will listen to me. You know I mean, a grand a grand spectacle to maybe a burning book. exactly to get people back <laughs> into the faith group. Eric, you kill me. Sometimes. Exactly the burning bush. <laughs> he threw in a freaking burning bush. Um, so you know what? This is the amazing thing. Ever since I put out my book, uh, Jesus is no joke. Um, that's all I kept telling people because I couldn't believe that, you know, he's alive. He's around. Oh, my God. The man spoke to me. Um, <laughs> and it it, it it was so many people who wrote me, especially in the beginning when I put that book out, who said, I saw him, too. Oh, my God, you, too. And then <laughs> and these stories started flooding in. And it's like, you know, he's active. What is he doing? It's like, I, you know, I, I bumped into Jewish people who are like, I saw Jesus. And it's like there's a. Um, a, what's it called? A whisper or wind in the house of Islam. There's a big, uh, um, I, I, like, I don't know, a movement of Muslims in the Middle East who are experiencing Jesus and seeing Jesus. It's like, what? I mean, it's yeah. it's all over their their uh, community boards online. It's in books and yeah. And it's not like Jesus shows up once. He keeps coming every night until they go and look into him. So what were your experiences? I mean, you got to tell us, I mean, how, what a fundamental yeah. life-changing experience. Oh, just just unbelievable. It's it definitely wiped away all my doubts of, of everything because I I had my faith but I wasn't I didn't think he was active and you know looking and seeing what we're up to. Mm -hmm. But it, the the first encounter that I had with him I, I was in college, and I worked at 5 in the morning until noon, and then I'd go to my class. So I'd come home, and I, I'd take a nap, and then I'd go to school. 
And I told my college roommate, I'm like, turn your TV down, I'm taking a nap. Okay, it's like, uh, <laughs> it was it was still summertime and whatever. And so I went into my bedroom. And you know, you get on your bed and you get comfortable and you're like, move your blankets or whatever. So I went to go lay on my bed and I hit the floor. <laughs> I, wow. I, I, I missed my bed. I'm like, boom. I'm like, whoa. How the heck did I miss the bed? I'm like, oh, my God. I'm so, like, she, you know, thinking my roommate's going to come running in. Like, what the heck? What was that sound? And I'm getting up. I'm like, whoo. And I stand up. And I'm not in my bedroom. <laughs> it was that abrupt. And I'm looking. And I'm in I'm like trying to figure out, like, I was so confused at first. I'm like, what am I doing? Where am I? And I'm looking around. I'm in front of my parents' home. And and I'm like, I, I'm trying to make sense. Why am I standing in front of my parents' house? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm like, well, I was going to meet up with a friend, a uh, family friend. I, uh, his name is Quincy. And I'm like, and then all of a sudden, my parents live in the country. So they have a long driveway. And I see this man walking up the driveway. And I'm like, Oh, that, there goes Quincy. Yeah, I, I am here to meet him. I was going to. And it almost instantly recognition slapped me like, oh, that's not him. <laughs> it was like every cell in my body screamed, it's Jesus. And I mean, being my silly self, I put my face in my hands and I'm like, look, you know, like that. It, this is this is this is happening. I'm like looking around. This man walks right up in front of me, and I still have. I'm looking down. I still have my face in my hands, and and I hear him say hello, like he's going to talk about the weather or something. And I'm like hello, and um, he said, "Do you know who I am?" You would not hesitate to say it if you if you knew, and uh, if you knew who I was, you would not hesitate to say it. Is what he said, and uh, and I stuttered, and I pulled my hands away from my face and I'm looking up at him I'm, I'm, I'm like well 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 you're Jesus and, and I don't speak Spanish <laughs> I'm like I yeah. don't know why I call him Jesus and <laughs> and he said yes I am and when I looked at him I mean I saw it was like so stereotypical I saw the white robe it was kind of off white I saw the shoulder length hair I saw a uh, bright light coming from behind his head that shadowed his face and I'm just like I, I'm still my silly self going, is this happening? I'm looking around. I'm like, I'm touching the ground going, you are here, Heidi. This is really going on. And he starts talking about his life and how so much needed to be done. And I'm still battling my wits of, I am here. I can't believe this mm -hmm. guy It is him. And he stops talking. And I, I feel like I just got busted for not paying attention because I, my, battle and uh i i turned up and i turned my face from them and, and i'm stuttering and i said well, well well what do you want me to do you know and um you know i you know just the the thought just before that too when the ground was so close to me i couldn't understand why it was so close to me as i'm touching it and i realized i was on my knees and I didn't realize I had gone on my knees in front of him. Oh. And, um, yeah, so it was re really moving. And yeah. he helped me stand up. And he said, first, you need to show us some things. And he said, don't worry what others say about. He said, I needed to finish my book. That was the secret war book. And he said, don't worry what others say. Know that I'll be there to give you the words. And, um I mean, it, it was a, a bit lengthier than, than what I'm telling you now, but it was just amazing. But I, I put it in my book, Jesus is No Joke. And um, honestly, if I didn't have the encounters that I did, there is no way I would be able to be standing up against things like the hat man and shadow people and be able to sleep at night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's amazing. It's oh, all I mean, amazing. Yeah, so yeah. what what realities do you think that was? Where where do you think you actually were with that encounter? You, you know, it's so weird. It felt like I was transported there in an instant. But when I came back, I was in the bed. Like, I didn't hit the floor. I was surprised by that. I really was. Um, so I, I guess I was... I, was projected there somehow i don't know it i've never had anything quite like that so I, that, I just don't know how to categorize it so he call he summons you to where he is to to tell you to finish your book yeah 
Yeah. You, you know, so this book obviously is a big deal. I mean, it's Jesus approved for crying out loud. Oh, Lord, I never thought of it like that. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, this the better book... than the FDA. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> it's so silly. Jesus but tested. Like... Jesus approved. I mean, come but, on. But you know, the book was written. Four I out was... of five. Jesus is approved. <laughs> <laughs> the book was already written. I was just like editing it here and there, waiting on. It took me two months to to write it in four years to get it published. And it was not, it was just crazy. So I was just like putzing and editing here and there. And, and I had a chapter where I was being a skeptic about people who claim to see Jesus. Cause mm -hmm. the book is more like on the topic of spiritual warfare and shadow people and these alien beings and what's going on. So it kind of reads along the lines of good versus evil. So yeah. it, it was, uh, yeah, I, I would have never thought <laughs> that it would, you know traverse the world or whatever mm -hmm. and make a difference the way that it has but mm -hmm. it's been uh it's been really rewarding i i wouldn't have changed anything yeah how long has that book out been out now it's been quite a while right i, I put it out in 01 so yeah it's it's been out there a long time a lot of people have read it it's it's uh and it's yeah. still available right you can get an amazon ebook form and get hardcover as well am i correct I, I took it out of hardcover and the, darn, darn you. Did, I'm gonna put it back in it, but um, the copies that are out there, I found people selling them for like 250 bucks. I'm like, what? What? Wow! <laughs> Is that crazy? I'm like, what? Jeez! I've got plenty of them here at my place. I just haven't sold them. I just, I don't know. But um, yeah. yeah, they'll go back into print at some point. And uh, well, if people want the origin story to shadow people in the Hat Man, you know. Uh, <laughs> that hopefully it'll be in a theater near you at some point. <laughs> it may it make for a heck of a show, a heck of a movie that was the story. Yes. So oh, yeah, yeah, we're almost thinking how cinematic all this is. Y exactly, oh. exactly, yeah. definitely. We're almost out of time, and and Heidi, what? <laughs> Holy crap! We had no idea. How and, do people get a hold of you? Yeah. <laughs> well, they just pray and say, "No, I'm just yeah, kidding." Yeah, you'll you'll, you'll, tra you'll transport to them. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, if they go to HeidiHollis.com or the the OutlandersComic.com, uh, yeah, and they could just write me there. And I, I, I really do answer all the emails that come in. And, uh, and it's like I, I'm always appreciative that people trust me to share their experiences. It's like, who am I to judge? I'm talking about Jesus and aliens and demons. I mean, so people feel comfortable like, okay. All right, I'm not weird. This girl's talking about the whole thing, so, <laughs> and I and I think I look sane mostly. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, the book, the book that is the other F word, how to find your faith and laugh at yourself while trying. That's the adult version. The kids is the fickle finders investigates the other F word. So pick them both up. Amazon. Uh, you can order them right now and definitely pick that up and hit up Heidi and say, hey, I love the book. And, and, and the sure. Hat Man and book, And the Hat too. Man book, and there's Secret War, and there's all sorts of them out there. Just look her up on Amazon. Her entire body of work is all right there for you. I highly suggest you buy each and every copy. So until next time, everyone, take care of each other, love each other. Merry Christmas! Enjoy Thank the you, time guys. of your family. Merry Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Yep, anytime. We're till next time, guys. Check out the Hat Man stuff. It's kinda cool. Thank you for listening to this edition after hours AM and please remember to like us on Facebook and also follow us over on Twitter. This show has been produced by Midwest Radio Production.